side of this area and this particular property. I mean, um, obviously it's beautiful, but I don't know what else you guys were. Well, when you say we, Kimasabi, there is no we. <laughs> uh, um, my parents' best friends. Oh, high break. Um, my parents' best friends decided to unretire as well. Okay. And they bought a hundred acre vineyard right here in Northeast. Yes. Oh, it's Well, now, have you guys harvested yet? Nope. Obviously not. No. Nope. Can I grab? Yeah. What are these? These are concords. Those are our concords. So your dad's buddy. Is this like a close? Yeah, they're my parents' best friends. Um, their sons and uh, I um, have been together since fourth grade in grade school. So. <laughs> Yeah. No, my husband oh, called okay. it yuppie like, farming. Well, yeah, because your husband's a real farmer. Yeah, yeah, he makes sense. You know, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. He's out like milk cows and he's running like a thousand head of cattle. Oh, yeah, and hundreds of hogs. Yeah, sure. yes. Yeah. See, he's like, yeah, this is, we're not turning anything over, you know. No. I'm just stewarding vines. Yeah, like, yeah, basically. You babysit them. And uh, you don't have to birth them. You don't have to, you know, it's, you babysit them. <laughs> Yeah, right. so, I can only imagine the difference. Yeah, there. and then my, so a couple of months later, we looked at a couple of properties with my dad, and uh, a couple of months later, he called and he said, I bought a winery. And I said, no, you bought a vineyard. And he goes, no, I bought both. So, uh, <laughs> huh. so I'm like, I need to take a class. So, <laughs> you did, like right away? Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much right away. Because you uh, knew what you guys were having into. Gin snob and a beer snob. Sure. So I did not know much about anything about wine except for grapes in a bottle and then, you know, screw top or cork, you know, sure. like <laughs> what you needed. How yeah. Much there is to know. Oh, absolutely. So um, I took an in depth course and I'm, you know, the easiest, cheapest level grade of a sommelier that they're, that, you know, they offered. Right. And, but I just needed to know why, the whys, the who's, the hows, and, and everything else like that. I think it's awesome that you guys did this, like yeah. the way that you did. Because you're just like, you know what? Your dad, well your dad's a lot like my dad. I mean, your dad just did it. You just yeah. pulled the trigger off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you didn't see the property yet. No, no, no. Nobody did. Not this one, just no. Just your dad. Yeah. So this is our Catawba. These are our ice wine grapes. Our old house was in this little itty bitty cute little Amish centered focused town uh, right south of Mercer. So we got tired of living in our car <laughs> all the time. And then with four kids, who has soccer practice? Who had karate? Wait, who has sure. Girl Scouts? Who has basketball? And but oh yeah, but we need to spray and we need to mow and. Somebody, we need help to cover the winery today. Oh, and back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. It just, I love how you guys have it. Are these, so when we're seeing a separation, are we seeing a type of grape? In other words, like between these rows, is that a different type of grape than what we're just um, seeing? No, nope. these are still concords. But it just gives um, pickers and the, haul, and the hauling equipment and everything, the room that right. we need. So we'll have offloads here in the middle. They drive it up, but when another set of group is coming down and everything else. Oh, this is gorgeous back here. Oh, okay. I love the tree line. Wow. Did you take pictures? Oh, wow. This is awesome. Well, because in your mind, it's the whole uh, movie, you know, where they buy the property and then your dad's like, you're going to love it. And you see it, and you're like, what did you do? But this is beautiful. Yeah. Like, right out of the game. Yeah. There was a lot to work with. So this little patch back here is where we're thinking of the tiny cabins in this center area right here. Because there's one more pond. And, you know, that's a really hot market right now. People love it.
Um, well, my oldest two were born in Pittsburgh, okay. and my youngest two were born um, in New Wilmington. Wow. So they absolutely love it. Yeah, it took them a little bit to get used to because they're like, I don't get a signal. And I'm like, you don't need a signal to mow the grass. I was like, just go. <laughs> So when you started learning about this, uh, you really had to crash course yourself. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're talking about why? Why what bottle? Why what color? I mean, just for the whole marketing and distribution side, you know. Right. Why labels for what? Why do the labels have to say one thing, but this label doesn't have to say another thing? Why do I need a special permit for this one, but I don't need a special permit for that one? And you that's know. Fun. I'm on top of these the family. Right. Going through a move to try to get this place situated. Yeah. Got to figure out the business aspect. Great. And who had karate that day? Right. Or so you were studying in the car. The oh road. my god, audiobooks were my new favorite thing in the world. Oh, and and about oh, turkeys. Oh wow, awesome. Is this the last thing you thought you'd be doing? Absolutely. Like of all the things? Absolutely. Even though you married a farmer, grape farming was not Well, he, he knew that he did not want to be a farmer. So, uh -huh. none of the boys, none of his, uh, he's, there's five of them all together, none of them are in farming. Five. Um, five? Yeah. Well, you bred for workers. Well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you did that in here. That's yeah, what yeah. it was, right? Well, it, my yeah. mother-in-law had five. Her parents had seven. My father-in-law's parents had nine. Wow. But they were all farmers, so you bred workers. You bred your own staff. I've never heard that, but I love it. Oh, yeah. You bred your own staff. You knew the stock. You knew it was going to come out good. You have a good herd. Yeah, there's none better, right? Yeah, yeah. Family. The clothes on the line, that's off of our garage, because oh, my kids awesome. make 15 loads a day. Yeah, but you air dry. I love that. Oh, yeah. I'm not paying for propane. I, I did that in California. Sparkling Ponds came about in 2005, and uh, during that time, it's gone through several evolutions. Uh, we currently purchased the property in uh, 2017, uh, remodeled and opened it up in 2018. Uh, on the property we have a uh, winery where we actually produce our wines. Uh, in addition to that we have a Airbnb which is a three bedroom, two bath Cape Cod, newly remodeled. Uh, and uh, in the back of the property we have two beautiful three to five acre ponds. Oh, you so there's more. Yeah, ponds is pluralized for a reason. Yes, I was wondering <laughs> that actually. Yeah. So, are they accessible to the public? Oh yes. Oh, they oh, are. So I, okay, you good, can venture I can go. back that far. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. we give tours if anybody wants to take a, a walking adventure. Were you in the industry prior to this? Um, no, I bartended in college, so that's about it. You did. <laughs> so, what was the inspiration to? I mean, this is a, a really large piece of property. It's well, basically, I uh, retired. I failed retirement a couple of times. <laughs> he's, he's so uh, bad at it. <laughs> and uh, we, we wound up moving uh, from Pittsburgh up to up north uh, to be near the grandchildren. And okay. at that time, yeah. I needed something to do. So we looked around and we thought uh, about a vineyard first, and then this became available. Of course. <laughs> and uh, I have a financial background, and right. I figured I have multiple different streams of income coming here. So. It seemed like a good idea. One of the most enjoyable parts of this is meeting all the different people that come yeah. in. It's just so, yeah, well, when I walked yeah. in, you were doing awesome, with, you know, but that's what you do. You're just, you're here, they're here. They're, it's a peak experience business, too, right? They're here to enjoy their time. This Absolutely. Like going to pay an insurance bill. I mean, they're here for a very... You know, you want them to come back, but most importantly to us is you want to, to them to enjoy their time when they're here. Right. Uh, good wine. You can get good wine at a lot of places, but you need to have good people good company, good service, all those attributes make a pleasant experience. It's everything. Yeah. You know. Did you come from the city to here? Is this a well, fish out of water thing? Or no? <laughs> you know, well, there's no. always a quintessential, you know, these novels yeah. that you read, somebody was raised in the city and they're like, you know what, I want to just go and your dad was like, I'm going to. 
I grew up hunting and fishing. Oh, so you even did. though okay. I was in Pittsburgh, this was this wasn't anything big. And I married into bovine. I said so. My husband's family are complete <laughs> Nebraska farmers. I've heard that before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, first time for everything. <laughs> and uh, um, so uh, that that in itself, getting married and marrying into that was a right. unique that experience. That might have been your big transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That was my full blown transition out of a How city many girl. Hats do you have? Or does he have? Does he still? Is he still a dairy farmer? <laughs> Oh, oh, no, no, no. They, uh, my father-in-law, um, he's on his third or fourth retirement already. See, he says you guys can't stop, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, no, yeah. So he's he's given up the cows, but he still runs out the land. And um, it's a huge family, so there's always somebody who needs help with something. So right. everybody's always pitching in. Well, our hours right now, um, they're both live on our on our Facebook page and on Instagram. Um, we do do, uh, you know, depending on the season, so winter hours. Um, my family lives on the property, so I always said... <laughs> just Is that your house back there? Oh, no, no, no. That's our other vintner's farm. Sure. Our mine's two, two over. Okay. Um, but I and said then just, the Airbnb is your truck? This and next so one right here. Next okay. Yeah. So I just tell everybody, just honk your horn, and, and I can pop over. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, and then our, our vintner, he's here, too, because he's always doing something over the winter time. So we have one of those fancy schmancy doorbells where you ring it, all of our phones or watches Every, or everything something. Goes off. Everybody yeah. gets notified. Everybody's notified right. on the property that we have a guest and, and we come in and you know still take care of everybody regardless of how cold it's outside. Well, typically we are open seven days a week. Okay. Yep. And uh, our, in, the, in the summer we uh, we have on the weekends we stay open later and uh, we're looking to again once we finish our remodeling and uh, be able to do more we'll be bringing in more events as Jen mentioned. Sure. We, uh, food trucks and, and music. That's a great and idea. Like I know. It really is. This property is so beautiful and the way it's set up is perfect for a food truck rodeo. I, uh, yeah, know? that's what, yeah, yeah. Cause I, we're, also, uh, we're also a licensed winery in Pennsylvania. So wow. we're, we're mm -hmm. able to attend the festivals and well, that's awesome. eventually so we could even open up locations in PA. Wow. Yeah, and then I'm working now with a couple of um, larger uh, grocery food chain stores to get into there as well. That was my next question, is distribution. Right. So do you have distribution right now? We are in several um, different smaller um, town uh, wineries and uh, wine and spirit stores. Wine and spirit stores. Um, there is a couple other of, um, we're not a distillery or a brewery, so we traded our product for their product. They market us, we market them. and. It, it's a beautiful cooperative. Exactly. We met those lovely people through other wine and alcohol shows. Right. So, um, so that that's been really nice, and we're getting. Uh, that's how we are in Buffalo and just outside of New York City is because we just basically traded product. Yeah. And you know, you market us being there, we'll market you being here. Because never in my life have I ever even heard of Logan Berry nor consumed Logan Berry. And when I traded product uh, for Loganberry <laughs> cider, yeah. and I publicized it, and the amount of people that just drove in and said, "You have Loganberry," it's and I said, weird, right?" I said, "Wow, <laughs> dude, yeah, <laughs> I do." So um, hopefully, you know, uh, a couple of our wines got the same great response, which uh, I heard that they have up there. Oh, that's great! But yeah, I just this Loganberry yeah, phenomenon. It's, I know it's like yeah. This uh, every region has a little quirky uh, Yeah. Because it's on syrup, it's in exactly. pancake, it's in like a Kool-Aid flavor. If you can think it, yeah. go buy it yeah. <laughs> and consume it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Logan Berry. I had to Google it. Uh, yeah, it's right. So, uh, you, so unique products that you have. Uh, now, you guys are coming in different grapes. There's five that you're growing here in total. Um, on, on the property, we're growing three, okay, but great. the additional uh, juices that we get are all from local growers. Okay. So all the all the real uh, the wines that are being produced are locally grown grapes. And, well, that's the other thing that we're seeing yeah. too is this cross pollination. Right? Yeah, there's Between a lot of hybrids that have been developed through Cornell and some of the other Penn universities, State. Penn State. Yeah. So that's uh, you know that's that's really helped the region and you know, it's, it's, it produces good wine. It's really nice because, uh, you know, all of our neighbors, they'll call us too, like, oh, well, we've got, you know, a ton left over of this, you know, can you use this and, you know, or, or but we're, you know, a half a ton short on this. So it's just neighbors helping neighbors and, you know, even if they're not a winery, but they're stuck with grapes now because, you know, contracts and business deals and everything else like that. Like, yeah, we'll take that ton, you take a half a ton of ours that we're, you know, we've got over. And so it's just, it's a really nice 
community effort in that is just well, and it's just neighboring farmers helping neighboring farmers. Well, we also do have um, fun things like wine slushies. Yeah, those are and, awesome, right? And that's a yeah. new way to, to <coughs> sell us. People enjoy that. Yeah. And for the people that are coming that are not wine drinkers, we also have beer. We do. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.